And I know I've always seen the way you look at me in the class seductively. And I always have it in my heart that I think he likes me too, and I think you like me too. <laughs> I summoned you here so I can talk to you about the need to attach passion to the subject mathematics. I, I proudly announce to you it is the best subject in the world. I make bold, I am proud to announce it. Okay? And I, I want you people to imbibe that spirit, that desire, that passion for mathematics, even as I did in my time. See, for me to be the most senior mathematics lecturer in this organization, it didn't come unearned. It was the passion, the drive that I had for it, okay? And I know that if you can only attach passion to, to mathematics, the sky will be your limit. This school has a prestigious name because of the, the kinds of students we, we roll out to the world. If you give it your all, even Cambridge will give it to you that indeed you are awesome students. Okay? So I want you to attach this to it. I mean, Stephen, look at you, your hairstyle, for example. Sorry, sir. I'm disappointed. Eh? Uh, uh, John, did, did, did you even comb your hair today? wearing necklace to, to school. It's, these things will come later in life. Yes, sir. Well, that's that. I just want you to attach the same passion that will take you to the top. You, for example, are the leader of the pack. And I know to a large extent whatever you do has an influence on them all. Since you hold that position, by example, lead. Let them feel you and follow you. I guarantee you that if you set your heart and your mind to it, you become one of the best mathematics students in this organization. Okay? So I want to ex extract from you a promise that you will give your heart to this. <coughs> and we sir, you've spoken well. Yes. Um, on behalf of I and my co students of this um, particular level of our education, yes. we're making the sincere promise to you that we're going to take mathematics serious and we're going to make you and the whole entire school very proud of us. Am I speaking of my students? Yes. yes. Even as you speak, I felt it inside of me. It's like a spirit thing, okay? Thank you, sir. Mathematics is almost spiritual. And I felt I connected with you, okay? That's what I want you people to do. I know you can make me proud. I know you can make this school proud. Do not relent in your effort, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Make me proud, okay? Thank you, sir. Yes. So, um, Eunice. Yes, sir. As they will be leaving, I want you to stay behind. All I right, need to sir. talk to you one-on-one, on one, yes, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, John. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll, I'll see you guys. And in case you guys have any need for which to see me personally or as a group, I'm available. I want to be your ears, I want to be the shoulders you can lean on in all of this, all right? Yes, sir. Give it your all. You have it. Give it your all, okay? Yes, sir. Very good. So you can leave now. Uh, you need to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, all right. Thank you, sir. All right. You know you are a beautiful girl. I think I can boldly say you are the most beautiful student in this school. All right? Yes, sir. I mean, your skin color, your, your body shape, your, your eyes, your nose, your lips, all declare beauty at its peak. Even the way you smile. You know, the, the, way, you, the way your eyes move, even the way you walk. You walk as if you were a fish inside an ocean. You, you walk as if you are you're actually swimming. What I want is this. I want you to attach 
passion. Don't allow your beauty alone do it. Right, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Because of your beauty is one of the reasons why you are even standing here right now. I want you to combine beauty with brains so that you can represent this society sometime too. I mean, um, look at Margaret Thatcher, for example. She became the, uh, the, the, most, the, the strongest woman in Britain. Tomorrow you can become the strongest woman in Nigeria. I want to be able to hit my chest and say, yes, I was instrumental. I, was, I influenced that, OK? Yes, sir. Make me proud. Yes, sir. Don't let this beauty go to waste. Don't let this, this awesome beauty go to waste. Do you understand me? All right, sir. You're beautiful. Thank you, sir. Even the way you smile, the way you talk, the way you move, even the way you, the way you curtsy, everything works out. It is beauty reflected in every, in every ramification, OK? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So like I said, any time you think you have a need to talk to me, come to me. If you need support, it could be financial, it could be material, in any form. Approach me, okay? Meet me. I'll be there for you. All right, sir. All right? All right. That is it. Thank you, sir. Okay, you can go. Thank you, sir. Good. Thank you very much. How are you, Lisa? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, sir, I've been, I came here to tell you about the difficulties I'm having in mathematics. I don't, sincerely, I don't understand mathematics. I don't. From the word problems, equations and all that I don't understand and my parents yeah the pressure on me is much they want me to become a medical doctor and I don't know and you know that before you become a medical doctor you need to pass your maths well you need to know mathematics very well so I, it's been a problem I don't know how to come about it I don't know okay the truth is, it is actually simple. Um, in my time, when I was your age, I, I wrestled with mathematics too, okay? But uh, I gave myself to it. I challenged myself and actually came out tops. For years, nobody could beat my results in mathematics and one thing led to the other. And today, I'm the senior lecturer mathematics in this school. I also know that if you can give yourself to it, you are a very brilliant young girl. Okay. So I've tried. I've tried to learn. I've tried even whenever I get home I do a private lesson to myself and I don't see myself understanding anything. I don't know why. A lot of students have met over time. Well, the moment they hear the word mathematics, they shy away from it. But it just takes challenging yourself. I know that if you challenge yourself, like I said, you're a brilliant student. You will come out well. Although in life, um, everybody has their own calling. Do you understand? It is not a must to be a medical doctor. It can be something else. Some people go into trade, some go into... For example, look at you. You're very pretty as a young girl. So like I said, just give yourself to it. So, it's not about mathematics and all that. You understand? It's just that. I really like you, sir. Yeah, it sounds very strange that Lisa likes her math teacher, but that's the truth. I like you, sir. And I know I've always.
noticed in the way you look at me in the class seductively. And I always have it in my heart that I think he likes me too, and I think you like me too. Lisa. Yes. You are a very beautiful, pretty girl, okay? I know. This is what I would suggest. Um, do you mind sitting down? Sit down. Let's talk. I can't sit down. Can't you see? What do you want? I like you very much, sir. I really, really like you. And I know you like me too. So listen, so look at me. I'm very young and active. I know you're married, but that's not a problem. You can't compare this with your wife. Listen, you like it. Lisa, I'm, I'm just sure you're getting this whole thing wrong. So you're making it oh, you're making it too hard for me, can't you see? Listen, listen. I, I just need you to sit down. I mean, anybody can just buy here and see us in this compromised position. Just sit down. We'll talk. Okay? Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, Lisa. The, the passion, the seriousness with which you have tried this, if you could just apply it to your quest for the knowledge of mathematics, you will have smooth sail. Because I can't you understand? I said I've tried to learn. It's not working. It's not entering. If there's any other way you can help me, just help me. I'm under pressure. My parents are pressurizing me. And to be frank with you, to be, to be truthful, I don't want to be a medical doctor, but I just want to, you know, please them, make them proud of me, make them understand that I can actually do it. So, I don't know. There is... Many other ways you can help me. Do you know, in life, not everybody has to be a medical doctor. You're beautiful. You're pretty. I mean, look at your hairdo, for example. You will stand out anywhere in the world as a successful model. You could go into ad -bats, you could go into commercials, you could even become an iconic actress, globally recognized. You can be any of this, okay? It's not a must that. So listen, this is my parents we're talking about here. I need to make them proud of me. I need to learn this mask. Help me, sir, please, help me. So look at me. Just I'm young, I'm beautiful. I can actually do anything for you, just... <sighs> Listen, um, unfortunately, I am not one of those that can be swayed by sed seduction as it is, okay? I am a street person by nature, okay? But this is what I will do. If it requires special lecture if you require special time with you i will give it to you i will attend to your needs mathematically i mean okay I where mean. would that be in your house or in a hotel room no i'm sure there are many other beautiful places where we can have such time okay but like i said mathematically you will sell through, if you applied the passion, if you applied 
the zeal with which you have tried to do this with me. Just, just give your heart to it. Just give your heart to it, all right? I mean, you will succeed. You will succeed. Just give your heart to it. Shall I say it? Lisa likes you. Yes. I like you. Okay. So please just allow me. Allow me and I promise you, you won't regret it. So I'm serious. Yes, yes, I know you are serious. Okay? But there are lines I will not cross with you. Okay? But I'm a woman, I'm a lady, I'm, I'm beautiful. So can't you see? Okay, because of the uniform I'm putting on, no. Listen, I don't need to be told that you are beautifully endowed. It's all over you. Just, just give me a chance. Please, sir, give me a chance. And you, I, I know you can help me. I know. I know you can do something about my mathematics um, phobia and all that. So I know you can do that. Lisa, you're not hearing me. You have attempted this excellently. Apply it to your quest for the knowledge of mathematics. That's what I want you to do. Okay? I'm sorry I'm breaking your heart, but that's me. Okay? I know you can make me proud. Just set your heart to it.